Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the seventh, seventh episode of the second season of Kanojo Mo Kanojo. Last episode was certainly eventful, and now we have the agreement, and Rika finally gets to no longer just live in a tent in the yard. She gets to be a full-fledged official member of the household, along with Saki Saki Nagisa Shino, and now we finally completed the proper living abode. So I'm curious to see exactly how this is all going to go. You know, the learning curve, what Shino's going to do, because she may change her approach. So yeah, just a lot, a lot to look forward to. So let's jump on into it and see how this new dynamic uh, goes. So three, two, one, play. <clears throat> Stake in her claim. But he is always serious. <laughs> That could be a thumbnail right there. Untoward. Oh, yep, wasted no time. <laughs> it's been a work in progress with Saki Saki. <laughs> we don't like to talk about it. Yeah, so apparently, apparently my theory was right. As long as it's not etchy, we can just we can just do it. <laughs> Man, what a deal she got. <laughs> Let's see if you can reject me while my tongue is in your mouth. Yeah, that shot look makes a little bit more sense now. <laughs> I actually just watched the previous episode like an hour and a half ago because I was so late on it. So the events of it are very fresh in my mind. I did forget to lock the door. Open. And I am back. You know, it looks like a baseball bat almost, but yeah, it's, it's a selfie stick that's just holding. <laughs> I went a pastor holding a baseball bat at the dinner table. You just can't look for his underwear drawer. <laughs> wow, what a pose. That is a... <laughs> that is a pose right there. She knows you got your back. Your bestie. She knows what's up. <laughs> but yeah, maybe, maybe not do that though. Yeah, no big go. Oh, oh. I, what, 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 what was she saying? <laughs> That's all right, too. <laughs> he would not. I mean, he's been living with two of his girlfriends this whole time, and neither of them are pregnant yet, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you wouldn't have a problem with that, would you? <laughs> Okay, that's not cool. <laughs> Playing dirty with our Nagisa. <laughs> Man, she is just... <laughs> She is a girl that gets things done. Oh, 
That would be allowed as well under those conditions. <laughs> I mean, not really. <laughs> that is his character. Yeah, that does seem entirely fair. <laughs> we gotta be fair with everyone that lives here, you know. <laughs> she looks so embarrassed and troubled and... <laughs> Things are really escalating. In five months, we'll have four girls that are four months pregnant. Crap. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's so many thumbnail-worthy images. Use your assets, Nagisa. Definitely is. Everyone has a lot to think about here. <laughs> There's a line. Then me. Okay. <laughs> and we have a winner in Shino, of all people. Gets to sleep with him first. <laughs> I mean, you can't argue with rock, paper, scissors. I mean, the more things change, the more they stay the same. And I wonder how things are going to go tonight. <laughs> Okay, wasted no time. Uh, it's a little bit more forward than I thought she'd be. Uh, really, really good looking though. Like, damn. <laughs> and she looks really good like that. Like, wow. <laughs> I must think about this. <laughs> Mixed feelings. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I... If I was in his position, I would not be able to just not do anything. <laughs> she is the best friend. <laughs> What a question to ask someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is quite the battle we have here. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. If you, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, that's really nice. Well, <laughs> keep keep going. I think it's working. We're we're, we're getting we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, you can't really go up from there. Let's get into you know touching territory. And here we go. What exactly is she gonna? Oh, bo, whoa. Okay, there's no way that does not get a doki doki out of you. There is just no way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can understand feeling a little bit guilty there. 
It would still get a Doki Doki out of me. No, he definitely got something out of that, I assure you. <laughs> understandable. Completely understandable. <laughs> you are the ideal trading partner. Yes, she likes that. She will remember that. No tales to tell tale. Couldn't fall asleep. Who's next? Rika. She came with a plan. Yeah, just yell that for everyone to hear. <laughs> she looks good, Rika, okay? Don't be mean. <laughs> Any man would feel the same way, okay? Where'd she go? <laughs> yeah, but this changes things a bit. <laughs> it's a good thing she doesn't have confidence issues. <laughs> okay. That's, you have quite a task ahead of you, considering how you've been acting. But this should be interesting to see. Is she trying to strike some kind of balance? <laughs> I was wondering what you'd be wearing. That, that, that is a choice. <laughs> I mean, she's still kind of cute like that, but. Proof for the police. <laughs> and then. That's now here for you. <laughs> okay. Glad we got that established. <laughs> She's so mixed up with what she wants to do here. <laughs> and then, and only then, we can do it. Yeah. That was the answer I suspected. <laughs> She's like, where does that leave me exactly? <laughs> okay. That could be a gift right there. <laughs> you know that you offer a <laughs> you offer a great a great offer there, but uh <laughs> You have a strong will, man. <laughs> <laughs> I th <laughs> this bargain, this uh, haggling, that's what word I was looking for. It was not going well for her. That's quite the sight. Yeah, that's... I think that's pretty clear. <laughs> Shoot key. <laughs> what if she'll be able to sleep? <laughs> what a thing to tell the dad. He may not be happy about that. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, having so many girlfriends is a lot to deal with. I'm tired just watching him. That's not enough. <laughs> he has a lot on his plate. Is he feeling, is he like, kind of, kind of, yeah, is he sick? I don't think you are. Got to force him in bed. <laughs> I assume Nagisa will win. You have to play scissors. Uh. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So what's she wearing? We're going to bed now because you're sick. <laughs> I will make you red. <laughs> She's a nurse. Nurse Nagisa. She does some good at, you know, focus shots, zoom in shots this episode. <laughs> if you're getting some rest and you will like it. Thirty seven point six. <laughs> she wanted to touch you, okay. <laughs> Angry Nagisa nurse. I didn't know I needed that in my life. I'll do it. One of one of them. Girlfriend number two. You look good in that outfit. <laughs> that that too. I could I could get used to this treatment. Good old Swalt one thousand. <laughs> we have come a long way. I'm glad we are mentioning that. Hey, you chose the outfit, I guess so. <laughs> I, I can tell. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with loving cosplay. Again, coming from the girl that is cosplaying. Oh my god. Nagisa, you're just the... Oh god, Nagisa. <laughs> You've had the longest with him and have made no real progress, so... Yep. <laughs> it was it was plenty fruitful. I think in a sense that did advance the relationship, but just not physically, you know. 
<laughs> I'm losing to girlfriend number two. <laughs> Be funny if it was like new and then she's like, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> what is she wearing? This is always a fun part to look forward to. What the heck does she do? Are those bruises? Like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, what did I miss? <laughs> uh. What a good girlfriend. That bikini top was so small. <laughs> okay. She went old school to try to find some. <laughs> I smallest justice. <laughs> I mean, he knew Paradise is a classic, I'm sure. In fact, that could be the name of an arrow again. <laughs> At least it could if most arrow games weren't all about the, the big old pie. Which they are. <laughs> you know what? That might be an oversight. <laughs> And I could think of some ways we could manage that without touching. Touching each other, rather. <laughs> there we go. He, he means, yeah, an etchy photo. <laughs> I mean, if she, if, she, if she was willing to go scavenger hunting for etchy magazines, she should be willing. <laughs> now take off a little bit more. Yeah, that should be preferable, I would imagine. She's thinking of me. What's he actually going to do here? Is he gonna put his face over their over their, over their bodies? <laughs> Is that where it's going? <laughs> Love you now, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> of course, Nagi said, or Saki said he likes it. Nights with the girlfriends. <laughs> I was a little bit late figuring out exactly what he was going to use a picture for, but I did figure it, figure it out before the reveal, though, so I get, I get partial credit. It was once I heard the cutting sounds what made it obvious, though. Oh. 
Okay, that was the seventh episode of Kanojo Mo Kanojo. And this episode, it was the beginning of our four, four or five way, you know, uh, cohabitation with each other. And uh, yeah, no, Rika definitely making the, the best of it. Got some kissing action very early on in the in the episode. Making herself comfortable on the bed with the poses and all that. Nasaki Saki just having a gum on, having a fight. You're just a murder, Rika, you know, understandably. But, but you know, Rika was able to get her to calm down for the most part. But yeah, in the end, we agreed to have everyone take a turn with him at night. So, and he has agreed to not, you know, do anything too lewd. But, she know got the first chance, you know, pretty impressive stuff. The only one that's not on paper a girlfriend or a girlfriend candidate was the one that won. And man, she just her ninety, she she nailed it. She rocked it. She 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 was born to wear it. Let's just leave it at that. But man, she definitely made an effort there. Like, whew. maybe one of the best parts of the episode. But there was a lot. There was a lot of good stuff for sure. But. But she definitely has a chance, you know, given Naoya's reaction. If she ever wanted to fight for that girl for number four spot, I think she has a fighting chance. But man, <laughs> just Rika was so, so offended that he could be that way with a washboard, you know. <laughs> Rika, she, she can be pretty mean sometimes. And some pretty wrong, pretty wrong sometimes. But then she shows up with her, like, Kikarumi, you know, very much attempting to hide those beautiful curves of hers. But in the end, she just unleashed herself anyway and... Just, the, the, she doesn't know what she wants, you know? Like, she's a little bit mixed up, but, you know, she, she she gets happy whenever he says she like he likes her, so. In the end, she went to bed in a good mood, I think. But, yeah. Also, the, the beans have been spilled to the father about what she's doing, so I wonder if he'll, ever, he'll actually take some action against that. Because <laughs> there's no way he could possibly approve of that. But... Then it was then it was Nagisa's turn, you know. She got to uh, take good care of Naoya because he was uh, a bit sick. But that's nothing that aggressive nurse uh, Nagisa can't fix. She got the outfit, you know. I definitely appreciate her going the the extra mile for the outfit because it definitely made this it made the scene. But yeah, definitely some good stuff there, showcasing Nagisa's development and everything. It really was funny, though, the rock, paper, scissors bit. <laughs> like, I like that a lot. Nagisa tells Saki Saki to use scissors, and she takes the the polar opposite way. Like, wow, she's so nice, she's gonna let me win on purpose, you know. <laughs> but uh, no, that was not at all what happened. That may have been the funniest part of the whole episode for me. But eventually Saki Saki got her turn, and she, uh, you know, she did what she, she, because she obviously had a follow up Nagisa, who was very selfless in hers. So she, she tried to be selfless in her own way. Like, I was really confused when we saw the uh, the legs. I couldn't tell if that was, like, bruises or, or dirt, you know? But uh, I think in the end it's supposed to be dirt. But, because obviously bruises would not make a whole lot of sense, I don't think. But she breaks out the the stuff, you know? OL, X, Mini, uh, yeah. Paradise, 365, Smallest Justice, Small Girlfriend. Yeah, just... She got some very specific stuff there. Let's just let's just leave it at that. But you know, she she wants to help him with his release, you know. So yeah, she has a small chest and the swimsuit's still really small on her. It's like it, the swimsuit itself has to be really really small for that to be the case. But yeah, that's definitely very niche stuff right there. She's very lucky to have found it. But I do enjoy his solution uh, of just taking pictures of her, cutting off her face and putting them on the body. It's funny because that's something he would think of as a good idea, but also something that a girlfriend probably would not appreciate too much, you know, so it makes sense on all sides. But because at first I was taking it, I was taking it the normal way, you know, like, yeah, instead of, you know, using those, just use the girlfriend pictures. But no, now he is not normal enough to do something like that. So he had a. He had a better method, <laughs> but he chose a good picture, though. You know, it, it worked pretty well. But yeah, that was the episode. A really good one. I'm glad we finally got to the point where we have all four girls more or less with equal opportunity to, you know, go after Analia and 
show what they got, make their best efforts. So it's been a lot, a lot of episodes getting to this point, but yeah, we are at this point. So that's about all I have to say. So thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.